Rivera, run that! This plane, Jane, y'all make sure y'all check out my interview here with DJ New Era on New Era TV. And this is shot by Yana. All right, back again, iHeart Radio, New Era TV, heavy hitters in the building, CBA Studios on the film. We in the shed on the west side again. Another dope ass interview. And I got with me a young lady that's been rapping for only seven months. She hit me up in the DM and said, Earl, we gotta make it happen. I said, yo, let's make it happen. So PJ is in the building. Hi, how are you? And she's a little, um, I think she's being, what's the word I'm looking for? Shy. Shy right now. <laughs> Don't be shy, man. We family up in here. So you're from Bessemer, Alabama, right? Yes, sir. So take me back to the beginning. Tell me how how was it growing up in Bessemer? Uh, it's crazy because I'm from Bessemer and my dad stayed there. Like, he's still there. Okay. So, I would always go to his house during the summer and over the weekend, but my mama, she loved the east side. <laughs> <laughs> we went from Clay to Irondale, Irwin. Like, I was going to a lot of different schools down here. Okay, so why, I mean, it's like schools, why so many? We was moving. The school's on. <laughs> <laughs> Which side is the best side? West side or the east side? I love the west. Why the west? It don't nothing compare to the west. I got, I got to hear this. Don't, don't nothing compare to it. It don't nothing compare to it. Okay, so Bessemer is considered on the west side, right? Mm-hmm. So you went to any, so you went to high school? I went to Bessemer City High. Okay, what year? Uh, 2014. So who from Bessemer you went to school with rapper from that from that? Uh, TSL Fetty, okay. Finko. Okay. All on. All right, so I got to <laughs> ask this. So it's always a tradition, you know, when you rap in high school, uh -huh. y'all used to beat on the, like, the cafeteria tables and rapping. Oh, yeah, that. that's me all day. I started out rap battling. Like, that's right on oh, my oh, alley. Okay. I still do it. So you're still battling? I still battle. So I can bring somebody in here right now, you're battling. Yep. <laughs> How right much money we talking about? I can put it all on myself. Okay, you hear that shit, gun? <laughs> all right, so growing up in Bessemer, what challenges did you face? Um, being a girl, trying to hang with the boy, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, that put a big impact on who I am today. Mommy, daddy gave you a hard time? Uh, not really. It was me giving them a hard time. <laughs> oh, shit. So you were considered one of the homeboys? It still is. Okay. okay. So I, I got to ask this question. I got to mm -hmm. ask. Go so ahead. You prefer dick or, or pussy? Which one? I got a girlfriend. You got a girlfriend? Yeah, I got a girlfriend. All right. So how does she feel about you in this entertainment um, as far as trust goes, we're good. She know what I really want to do. Gotcha. So we ready for the rooms and everything. Right, she know right. me. Gotcha. So what were some of your hobbies, though, as a youngster, other than music? Everything. Okay. Like, I'm outside doing everything. I'm playing basketball, soccer, tennis. Anything we seen, we doing it. Gotcha. So you finished high school. Did you go out to college? Nope. Didn't even try to. Why not? I know I want to rap. I don't need to go to college to do that. Shit, you got a point there now. <laughs> but, you know, when you're in college, you got a chance to meet people. Right? Um, I was going, a lot of my friends went to college. Like, all of my friends went to college, really. So I would take, I was selling weed at the time. I'd take my little weed up to their campus, stay there for a week. I'm going to lunch and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I got the college experience. They don't owe me nothing. Hustle me, hustle me. So being from Bessemer, do you feel like artists such as Cinco, you know, Big Petty, TLC Fetty, you know, opened up the doors for Bessemer artists? Most definitely. That's what they did. Gotcha. They really opened up the door for a lot of Alabama artists. You know what I'm saying? Them as a whole. Is there a unique sound that Bessemer has that a Birmingham artist does? Because when I hear a Bessemer artist, everything is, you know, fast paced, no hook. Is, that, is your music that way? Uh... No, not really. Like, it really depends what mood I'm in in the studio and what the beat and where I'm at in life. All that matters to me in the studio. Like, that's what you're going to hear when you listen to the track, where I was in my life. All right, fast forward, you moved from Bessemer to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. why, I mean, why was that? I kept getting in trouble in school. They kept on putting me out. For what? Like... Anything. They were just finding reasons. I went to Clay. Y'all did me so dirty. Uh oh. Talk about it. Yeah, let's see this. Y'all did me dirty. They put me it. out of school for any little thing. Like, I got class three four times. God damn. At Clay? Yeah. In two wow. years. Yeah, like I was never at school. They always had me in alternative school. They didn't even want me there. Damn. So you went to, okay, so in Atlanta you was in high school? Nah, I moved to Atlanta in the eighth grade. Eighth grade. Mm hmm. And then you moved back here. 
Um, you finished that for high school festival, right? Nah, I finished. See, I was back and forth. See, there's a lot going on. Yeah, right see, now. yeah. It's a lot going on. That's why I had to tell the story. All right. <laughs> so, how does music play into that as far as pursuing it now? Um, it really, I play it to my advantage. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm in Alabama, people tell me I sound like I'm from Atlanta. Mm. But when I'm in Atlanta, they can hear the Alabama. So, I kind of like balance it out, find somewhere in between there and stick with it. Gotta ask you this, being in Atlanta, what's one thing you notice about the quality of women in Atlanta versus the quality of women in Alabama? What, what, what's different? Because I saw a music video and you had a bunch of baddies. Not saying Alabama don't oh, have no, them. one of them was from Alabama. Okay. Dex was from Alabama. So, yeah. so what's the difference in the quality? Um, me personally. Keep it a hundred now. My girlfriend's from Alabama. Okay. She's the truth. So she's yeah. the truth. That's all I need to hear. Is. <laughs> like, yeah, they be cute in Georgia, but she's the truth. She's the truth right there. All right. So you get down to the A, man, and um, you sent me something in my email that was like on point. You know, you said it's my exclusive. I get the right to leak and do what I want to do. With it. You got to wreck it out with uh, Money Move, mm -hmm. who signed to. It ain't um, even out yet. It's not out. Yeah, it ain't even out. And he signed to LA the Boom Man's label. Mm -hmm. How did you make that connection? Um, I actually met Move a long time ago, like back when I was still in high school, you know, and we just, he seen that hustle in me, you know what I'm saying, and he, he just fucked with me. Yeah. So being in the, so being in the A right now, mm -hmm. what's one thing different music-wise versus being here? Um, I can say in Atlanta, they'll really listen to anything. Not even saying it like they just listen to anything, but they'll give it a chance, you feel me? Versus being down here in Birmingham, if you ain't popping, we all want to hear. Hey, well, you gotta get, get out do groundwork. Groundwork. That's what I always say. Groundwork helps, man. I can tell you, I'm doing groundwork in both states, and it's easier in Atlanta. Because it's, it's more it's a lot it's more music driven. You have more outlets. Okay. So you feel like being in Atlanta, you got a better chance versus being here. Um, not really. I'm gonna just push it. I don't care what. I can make it out of Idaho. I don't give a damn. <laughs> PJ is in the building, man. All right, so you got a song out with a guy that, from my understanding, that's your artist. Mm-hmm. My little cousin. Uh, Lil Monte, am I saying it right? Lil Monte. Lil Monte. Lil Monte. Got a, the name of the song you got out with him is called You A Ho. Most definitely. Let's talk about that real quick. Who came up with the concept for that? Um, it actually was Monte. See, when he recorded the song, I stepped out to smoke in the booth. So I, I ain't even hear it. But when I walked in and they played it back for me, I was like, well, damn. Right. Cut the beat back. Let's go. Like, run we got to go. Run it, run it. And Benny Hurts did that production. He cut up on that. So he's on your label? Do you have a label? Um, I actually do not have a label. So you, but he's your artist? He's definitely my artist. Like, you're going to have to come through me to get the little money because that boy is 17. He's cutting up. That's the manager right there. He's from here? Yeah. From high school. He from Fairfield. Fairfield. Yeah, he from Fairfield. Okay, shit. We Fairfield behind the camera. We got Fairfield. I don't know where. I don't know where the hell Gun from. Gun from the country somewhere. Goddamn. Fairfield outside. <laughs> All right, so you been in Atlanta? Could <laughs> you say good? He from the west side. We gonna just say that. OVMB is in the building. So being from uh, being in Atlanta now, you got a freestyle out with uh, over over a little baby track. Mm -hmm. What made you pick that one out of all the little baby records? Um, it's really a hard ass track. Like he ate that bitch. You ate it up too now. That what I said. I said I can eat that bitch just <laughs> like that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm hearing the word eat a lot. Is that your ad lib or that's your catchphrase when you go in to do stuff? Is that how you let folks know you about to turn this shit out? Yeah. When I get to rub my hands like Birdman, just know I'm finna eat. Probably. It's getting greasy. Alright, so I checked out another record. You sent me a lot of uh free bands. Mm hmm And you had a line in there that said uh, Sixth grade, number at maxes and shit. They used to laugh at me. Yeah. Is that really true? Yeah, because I had I had Max 97. Classic. You feel me? With the little lines all right, around right, right, them. Right. They ain't know what the hell that See, was. See, they don't know style, man. You feel me? They looking at me like, bitch, them ain't even no Nikes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't pay me to put a pair on day. <laughs> Why? Why is that? Because they did me so dirty. I just It's just a bad memory. You ever heard the word endorsement? That's all I got to say. Yeah, you right. You right. <laughs> Fast forward to it, man. Putting out hell of a lot of music. Only been rapping since, I would say, October. How do you plan to make an impact 
just at that short period of time? What are you doing to make yourself stand out? I'm constantly releasing music. Okay. Like, I don't let myself take a break. All the old music I got in my phone since I... I've been recording music since I was, like, 18. Y'all about to hear all of that. Like, mm. everything. Because I got to tell the story. And I've been telling the story. So why not let them hear it? Like, it ain't no sense of holding the music. We got a whole album, though. Two, three albums. Bro. Yeah. Mixtapes and all. Okay. Mixtapes. So you say mixtapes. You got a DJ on it. DJ going to host it. You got to come home. You got to come home and get that look. Come home with it. Get that look. So as a female artist, what are some of the challenges face being in Atlanta because I know it's tough out there. Um, when people look at me, you know what I'm saying, because I'm not that Coke bottle, you know what I'm saying, just outright ass titties done, they assume, they like, oh, I don't want to hear what you got to say. But you know what your biggest giveaway is? But look, bro? check this out. Check this out. When, they, when I open up my mouth, you have no choice but to just shut the fuck up and it's just like, damn. Cause it's coming at you. Like, I'm gonna come with it every time. I don't give a damn how I look. I do this shit in some pajamas. All right, look, fuck that. Sean, we need some bars right now. Look, zoom in on her right now. <laughs> give me some bars right quick. Give me some bars, man. PJ's in the building. Ah, oh, man. I wanna tell Gunn to put a beat on right now. We in the shed with it. <laughs> One of the hottest producers out here doing it. He ain't made beats? Hey, that's, that's the plug right there sitting over there. Put a beat on. <laughs> I don't think potential you got customer. <laughs> you looking at a potential customer. Look, just go off the top of your head. Give me something real fast. Top of your head. Ain't nothing in there. Ah. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you. Ah, right, we'll have to catch you next time. Yeah, you have to bring me that rapper. Better up. <laughs> next question, man. What's your biggest your biggest motivation? Oh, uh, my daughter. Okay. Yeah. Her name is Riley. She's three years old. Okay, mama. I got a mama. Yeah. She's highly intelligent. I'm going to pull your card on this one. Um, I saw on Instagram you had on a Wu-Tang clan. Mm -hmm. What you know about the clan? Um, not too much. I'm not even going to cap. Like, I just, I listen to it. Because it's, it's so much coming at you at the same time with the woo -ha! Like, <laughs> I, I just be blown away. Like, even really in it. <laughs> Right. It's fascinating though. So you said you had about eighteen to twenty records recorded. Mm -hmm. What's next? What's the uh, next biggest project you got coming? Out? This song that I'm about to release with Money Move. Okay. Most definitely. Video on the way too. Most definitely. Got it. Most definitely. Where you see yourself in two years? On the top of the charts at the Grammys. Go. All right. So we're at TV. On this show, we do a segment called Straight from the Heart. I ask you a set of questions. You give me your honest advice, all right? Okay. All right, question one. Best piece of advice you've ever received? Um, I'm not even going to lie. Somebody once told me, you can do what you want to do in life. It's the right way to do the wrong thing. And that stuck with me. Like, blue. There you go. Worst piece of advice. Um... I don't get bad advice. I ain't even gonna lie, because if it is bad, I'm still gonna take heat to it and apply it some way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I learn from anything. What's the biggest error you took so far in the music? Mm, really, none. <laughs> uh, yeah. What advice do you have for female if you want somebody else to believe in you, you got to believe in yourself, like, 100%. Like, regardless of anything that you may feel is an obstacle, everything can be overcame. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. You know what you want to do, and you got to want to do it, though. All right, last question. Who the, who the hardest female artist coming out of Birmingham right now? Here. Mm. Talk your shit on this one. That's easy. I can answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think, do I know any more besides myself? I really don't know too many more. Like, Just I'm yourself. not the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, New Era TV, iHeartRadio, we in the shit. TJ is in the building. Give out your social media. Let folks know how to reach you, your booking information. Tell folks. You can follow me on Instagram at Plain Jane One, and that is spelled P L A N E, two J's A N E One. 
and that's Twitter too, and on TikTok. Definitely follow me on TikTok. Like, I be cooking on there and everything. You see my daughter, it's like a little vlog for me. So follow me on there. Um, What else? Yeah. I want to shout out to my hairstylist because she did this shit and my nail set because these hoes glow in the dark. That's crazy. Like, Linda, you cut the fuck up. Lessons you cut up on my hair, most definitely. They from the west side? Yeah, my cousin from Fairfield. My little cousin from Fairfield. She cut up yeah. on my hair, most definitely. Where the shop at? Um, she's in, on, on the east side. Okay. Fair, yeah. Fair. In Fairfield. You're from Fairfield. What year? Yeah. Um, young. Okay. I don't even remember. <laughs> I wouldn't know. A couple years ago. All right, man. Thank you for coming by today. Pleasure having you here. Next time, I definitely got to get a freestyle from you, man. Most uh, definitely. Say you the hardest out. We, we got to do something before we get about this can. I got to hear. I want to hear a song. Song. Oh, man. Look, fuck that. If I got to put a beat on the phone, God. What, what beat you want to hear? Yeah, go on smoke up. What beat you want to hear? <laughs> Let me see. Hey, give me a beat, gun, off the top of your head. Something that's fire right now. Instrumental. That you fuck with. Gun don't even know one. <laughs> Shit. I know you got something in there. What, instrumental? Yeah, song. I got to hear song for I don't even be keeping beat. Ah. Uh, Bro. Can't get it a wrap, y'all. So uh, make sure y'all follow her, man. Subscribe to my channel, New Era TV. Stay tuned. I got more shit on the way. Her single is coming out. Money Move. Move been out for a while. That's my brother. I fuck with him, so he know what's up over there. Plain Jane. We good, right? We definitely good. All right, we back. We out, y'all. New Era. Run that.